Hi everybody! Happy White Cane Week! White Cane Week takes place the first full week in February. This year it falls on February 7th to February 13th. White Cane Week is a time when various chapters of the Canadian Council of the Blind and other groups and organizations such as the CNIB and the Checkered Eye Project raise awareness of issues surrounding people with vision loss and the importance of the white cane. White Cane Week was started by the Canadian Council of the Blind, or CCB for short, in 1946. The CCB is the largest membership-based organization for the blind and visually impaired in Canada, with over 65 chapters from coast to coast. The CCB is known as the Voice of the Blind. The CCB was founded in 1944 by blind war veterans and schools of the blind. Their national office is located in Ottawa. The CCB offers many programs to assist those with vision loss, creating awareness of vision issues to the public and government. The white cane is a symbol of independence for those who are blind or partially sighted. It is one of the many tools used by the blind. The white cane is used to detect obstacles in the path on the ground, whereas a guide dog is used to avoid obstacles both on the ground and overhead. Historically, blind and partially sighted individuals always used some sort of staff, stick, or cane to assist navigating around. Historically, the cane was used as a tool only for detecting obstacles, not as something to identify that that person had a visual impairment or was blind. It was not until the 20th century that the cane as we know it today, was used to identify if a person had a visual impairment. During the times of the two world wars, canes began to be used by people with vision loss. In 1921, a photographer by the name of James Biggs of Bristol lost his vision due to an accident. Feeling threatened by the increased motor vehicle traffic around his home, Biggs painted his walking stick white to make himself more visible to the motor vehicles around his house. In February of 1931, Gilly de Herbant launched a scheme for a national white stick movement for the blind in France. The campaign was reported in British newspapers, leading to a similar scheme being sponsored by the Rotary Clubs throughout the United Kingdom. In May of 1931, the BBC suggested in its radio broadcasts that blind individuals might be provided with a white stick which would become universally recognized as a symbol indicating that someone was blind or partially sighted. There are three main types of canes used by the blind and partially sighted. The canes vary in length depending on how tall the user is. The canes are usually have a black grip to hold on to, a white shaft for visibility, and at the bottom, usually about a third, is red. If someone is deaf blind, their canes will usually have two red stripes on them so that people can distinguish that they have both a visual impairment and a hearing impairment. So the first cane will be the mobility cane or the long cane. The long canes are used as probes and are usually used when the person is traveling in an unfamiliar area to provide an extra measure of safety. The second type of cane is the identification cane. The identification cane is lightweight, shorter than the mobility cane, and it has a pencil tip. This cane can often be folded up or collapsed and put in a purse or a backpack when not in use. The ID cane is used to help with depth perception and finding things such as stairs and curbs. The last commonly used cane is a support cane. 
A support cane is designed to safely support the user's weight. It's perfect for a user who is elderly or who has a physical disability. It can be rigid or collapsible depending on the user's preference. I will put in the description below links to the Canadian Council of the Blind for if you want more information on what events are going on for White Cane Week in your area, as well as the CNIB and the Checkered Eye Project. I will also list all the websites that I have cited for information. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share with your friends.